Good morning on February 2nd, 2024. It's 5.36 a.m. before the family gets up, so I'm kind of quiet, so I'm not making a lot of noise for everybody. So, I typically run ESXi server. Um, I had two, so here, here's my ESXi 6.7. I'm running 6.7 because if you come down to networking, physical NIC, oh, sorry, I have to log back in. This is from last night. Log out, let's log back in. And that was wrong password. Waking up, waiting for coffee to brew. Alright, anyway, as I was going to say, right here, right here. I have a 10 gig network card, fully supported in um, ESI 6.7, update 3, it's the last version, I tried 7, and I tried 8, just so I could see them, um, I took my ESXi 8 down, and that's what this machine is, and this is the one with my better processors. Um, no, actually, my yes, yes, my ESXi 6.7 has the better processors. Um, so, before I show any of the hard uh, the hardware of what I'm using for Hyper-V, I can tell you I'm extremely a lot more satisfied with how Hyper-V is running on an identical machine to the other one, just actually has slower processors. Um, but before I get into it, let's uh, go ahead and start this guy up. Uh, to start a VM real quick while we talk. Uh, so, I already done it. I'm not bringing any of my VMs over. It's been a nightmare trying to figure out how to. Yes, it's possible. Next, install. Um, so, I have to redo my Altair server. It'll be 8.7.1 from scratch, which before I've taken it from 8.5 and up. So, uh, so we domain controller, just do standard desktop experience. Also, by me not bringing my VMs over, I will be on to server 2022 and SQL 2022. Um, Altiris, SQL, new domain controller, which is going to be challenging because I like keeping everything behind a firewall. If you saw my other videos, I have a Frisco virtual, uh, virtual machine that acts as a router, a firewall between the my home network and my lab network. Now, that's totally doable here. The challenge I'm going to have is I've n even with the ESXi, I never ran two servers together behind that firewall. I want them to communicate together, so I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. I don't know if they're going to be two separate DCs talking, I, which was totally doable. Two DCs with DHCP and all that as two separate areas that then would talk amongst each other and then through the router um i did put a question on reddit thank you guys for replying saying uh cluster i don't have shared storage the one problem i have with shared storage is free nas and stuff like that doesn't support my 10 gig nick that's why i'm getting away from all that proc yeah proxbox free nas um the newer versions don't support it uh at windows 11 let's take so it took me yesterday eight minutes to build a VM. In my ESX environment, it took longer than that. And like I said, it's the same exact hardware. Actually, it was on my ESX has better processors. <clears throat> They're E5 2620 V4s. Uh, this one has, all right, let's take a look at that. Let's just go to the system. This machine. No, actually, the better ones are over here. E5-2678 V3s, 2.5, 168GB of RAM. Um, as you see, we have plenty of processors and cores for VMs. Alright, so this is already restarting. Here's... Windows 11 VM. The only thing I don't know how to do yet is pass through video card. But, no. Windows 11. 
system, 16 gig of RAM, processor, um, I'm trying to wake up, sorry, um, gave it four processors, 16 gig of RAM, I already have Altiris, uh, up and running, Server 2022, SQL, I'll be installing that soon, today, but I'm probably, probably not going to do a video of <clears throat> installing Altiris or installing SQL, just going to get them up and running, because if you think about it, I've already done videos for them, here we go. All right, let's finish this. We're six minutes in, and we're logging into our server already. So, as I said, overall, in under 10 minutes, I have a VM up and running. I'm gonna rename it to my uh, DC. Um, but as I said, I got to figure out what I'm going to do next as in, um, uh, network. Oh, I guess switch the network over. Um, but I found this actually to be super straightforward and fast. We'll rename that. We will go. Come on. Control panel. So we're already on the Hyper-V network. We're already at 10 gig. And that's the beauty. <clears throat> As I said, none of my other machines, uh, none of the other, like ESXi and Proxmox, wouldn't see my cards. They're super old cards, super old hardware. I copied an I, uh, Mac ISO yesterday. <clears throat> it was 8 gig. I copied it in a minute and four seconds through a uh, gig network. And I switched over to 10 gig. You've probably 10 times faster. It took four, like 4.08 seconds or 5.08. I forget, but it was, it was like around five seconds. It's a lot faster. So anyway, more videos to come. And obviously I got to figure out how, if I'm, <clears throat> if I'm going to do two Hyper V servers and how I'm going to get them to talk and whatnot. So more to come. Have a good day.